what's up it's your boy 24 7 here with 24 7 fusion media and as we all know you know within the last five six years or so hollywood has been creatively bankrupt and has been rebooting everything to hell and back so <laughs> with that being said we are getting this Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling's Ocean's Eleven remake to begin filming soon. J. Roach, who previously worked with Robbie on Bombshell, is set to direct the period caper. So, right now, if I'm not mistaken, they had just dropped the trailer about maybe about, a, about two weeks ago. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling are doing the Barbie movie. Yep, she's playing Barbie, he's playing Ken. And now this is my first time hearing that here they are coming together again to film an Ocean's Eleven remake that I don't even give a fuck who they bring on there. It's not going to be better than the Ocean's Eleven trilogy with Ocean's Eleven, 12 and 13, let alone the original Ocean's Eleven that came out back in the 1960s. So with that being said, let's see. What the hubbub is all about. Warner Brothers Discovery has set the date to start shooting the new Ocean's Eleven, repeatedly a prequel starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling. All right, so my question already, so already my question to this, from what I read, is how is this a prequel? So if it's a prequel, that means that it's a prequel to Ocean's Twelve that makes this Ocean's Eleven? Or is this a prequel as in Ocean's Eight? Or is this a continuation of Ocean's Eight like this is Ocean's Nine? The thing is, we're checking this out for the first time, don't know shit about this, but this is sounding whack already. However, an announcement published on the Film and Television Industry Alliance's official website reveals the prequel is actually a remake of the first Ocean's Eleven from 1960, the originator of the film series. Hmm. Boy, doesn't this sound like a bunch of bullshit? So, are they doing the prequel to the 1960s movie? What the fuck? Okay, uh, last May we first heard about Warner Brothers' planned prequel to Ocean's Eleven, which starred George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Bombshell director Jay Roach has re was reportedly attached to the helm of the film from a script by Carrie Solomon, with the story taking place in Europe during the 1960s. Later in August of 2022, we learned Gosling was joining the production. The new project announced confirms the name of all previously reported cast and crew members. The project summary also reads, remake of the original Ocean's Eleven that is set in Europe in the 1960s starring Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. So basically everything's going to look like it's the 1960s. But it's going to be a prequel to the original 1960s Ocean's Eleven. But yeah, this seems crazy. Uh, the first film in the series released in 1960 and featured Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, and Sammy Davis Jr. as World War II veterans who've joined forces to rob five Las Vegas casinos in a single night. So instead of just a prequel, it looks like Warner Brothers Discovery is looking to reboot the film series as it did in 2001's release with George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Yeah, um, are people even going to give a fuck? See, the thing is, I'm not sure how much better they think they're going to make this movie out to be than its 1960s original and the rebooted version that came out in 2001. So why is it even worth doing this at this point? Like why spend money to reboot a movie that's been rebooted, but then you're rebooting the original? Of course, there's still a chance the new Ocean's Eleven fits both shoes at the same time while also serving as a prequel to the most recent films again what with oceans eight yeah so 2001's ocean 11 spun a successful trilogy starring clooney pitt and the all-star ensemble over a decade after the release of 2007's oceans 13 
Warner Brothers also revived the franchise with Ocean's 8, featuring an all-female crew who planned to pull a heist at the annual Met Gala. <laughs> the crew was led by Sandra Bullock as Debbie Ocean, the sister of Clooney's original thief, Danny Ocean. The revival failed to make a splash at the box office, which explains why Warner Brothers' discovery is taking the franchise in a whole new direction. The shit was a disaster. I think it had Sandra Bullock, uh, Rihanna, and a bunch of other actresses and shit. I was about to say something really fucked up, but actresses. And they went woke with the shit. Where if that movie was would have been successful, yeah, it would have been the prequel that it would have been Ocean's 8, Ocean's 9, and Ocean's 10. And Ocean's 10 would have actually led into what we knew as George Clooney and Brad Pitt's Ocean's 11. Thing is, Ocean's 8 also was a part of that fucking SJW ass feminist agenda shit that they got going on over in Hollywood. So to see that they acknowledge that the shit was a flop, they're not saying why, but we all know why. All right, they say uh, there still isn't much information available about the prequel remake of Ocean's 11, but since shooting starts on March 6th, it shouldn't take long before we learn more. So Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosley, they're jumping from Barbie straight over to Ocean's 11 remake prequel or whatever the fuck is going to be of the original 1960s movie with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. So with that being said, I think they shouldn't do it. Why? Because I don't think they're going to find a cast that's as great as or even better than your 2001's Ocean's Eleven. The ensemble there was fucking fantastic. And as the movies kept going for Ocean's 12 and 13, shit got bigger and better. I mean, shit, with that being said, with today's Hollywood actors, I can't see them putting together an ensemble that was that's gonna rock or rival what we've already seen. And my whole thing with reboots, remakes, and reimaginings is if you're not gonna be better what you're, what you're trying to do is not going to blow the original shits out the water. Don't even fucking do it. Because you're wasting your fucking time and your money. So it's, just, it's a, it's a no-win for everybody. Today's Hollywood can't pull off shit better than what was done 15, 20, 30, 40, even 50 fucking years ago in cinema. Today's Hollywood is lazy. Stars are shitty. Entertainment's whack as fuck. Hollywood is at an all-time low. And they want us to fucking invest in another fucking reboot or remake, prequel with a bunch of stars that's not better than what we've seen already. Why fucking do it? But here we are, right? A new Ocean's Eleven getting started to film March 6th. You guys let me know what you think about this bullshit in the comment section below. And as always, it's your boy 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Boy, I swear, this bull ass shit. And I'm out. Peace.